Rockstar Guide to the Galaxy. Ha ha her, LA. Hi there. Hi. We're ha uh ha -huh her. I'm okay, Cam. Yeah, well, uh, you are. And I'm Leisha. And we're in Los Angeles. So as you know, there's a lot of traffic in the city. So we like to get on two wheels instead of four. But the most important thing to remember is safety first. Right. Always wear a helmet. So Cam, if you want to demonstrate getting on the back of the bike, that's pretty much done. how you do it. All right, we'll see you real soon. We're going to show you some places. like the biggest assholes we could possibly look like. <laughs> um, we're gonna do all things um, on wheels, we're gonna fly, what else are we gonna do? Um, I think we're gonna eat. Oh, we're it's gonna so eat, boring. that's exciting. Yeah, it's just but, yeah. craziness. But Not, yeah, when, yeah. when you're in LA, you have to check this place out. I'm making her do it. She, she is. Done it before. It's Cam's idea. Oh my god. And uh, yeah, we just woke up, so maybe it'll, it'll wake us up more. <laughs> My name is Drew. Welcome to iFly. Hi, how are you? So I'm going to start you off with this orientation video. This video is going to explain to you on how we're going to enter and exit the tunnel, as well as hand signals, which I want to be able to use to communicate. <laughs> with and we're all familiar with that hand signal, right? So let's get you suited up right now, and we are flying in no time. Yeah, I'm scared shitless. So we're at the 101 Cafe in Hollywood. Um, oftentimes we come here to meet our amazing bandmates. This, this is Jacques Bratbar. Professional rock musician. Professional rock musician. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is Josh Kane, drummer Professional drummer. You ready to go in? Yeah, let's go get some food. Do you want to tell them how we met? It was actually at a four-way stop in Beverly Hills. <laughs> And uh, no one really knew who had the right of way because we all stopped at the same time, so we all just went. And you went. cut me off. Yeah. And crashed. We all just kind of crashed into each other, and we were exchanging information. And uh, we just kind of realized, oh, hey, I know you through this person. You know this guy through that person. And we were all musicians, and so we just kind of got together one day and played music. Basically, you know, as a band, you have a lot to discuss. Um, set, set yeah, set lists. Stage banter. Stage banter is definitely uh, it's a key element. Are you sure Cam yeah. really wants to She's wear a stash. Should I grow the beard? Uh -oh. Can we just get shut down? Sometimes when we're in Los Angeles and we're not on tour and we're, you know, scooting around or whatnot, we like to stop by our friends' places. Oh, hey, it's Alicia and Cam to see Linda. I'm really working on a lot of big projects. <laughs> I am, I really am. Uh huh. Um, la, Tell us all about just it. Just yesterday, <laughs> I had some really big people in uh -huh. here. Like? And, um, uh, oh, well, they're yeah. not here. They're not big. Big here. rock stars. Big, they're not big in America. Like, you know, they're. I big don't want to tell you who they are. She doesn't want to name drop. Show us around your <laughs> studio. <laughs> no magic happens here. No magic. Nothing. Nothing. That, I don't even know what that thing does. This was from 1957. I bought this. Uh, it's very vintage. 
a motif. It's very French, uh -huh. and um, bad. It's money. empty inside. <laughs> it is. These, these actually don't work. <laughs> They're all fake. <laughs> Oh, it actually works. Oh my god, can I steal that for the stage? Yeah. <laughs> what really are we you doing here? We bug you. We thought that you needed to, um... You thought you needed our help. Mm. Work with us. I mean... Oh god, yeah. did I say that? Yeah, you did. Now, Too bad you missed that boat. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so for real, we're gonna see... What Tour. This is my uh, white padded room where... Mm. The girl was so in her head mm -hmm. when she was singing. I Was her name Cam? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, totally. No. Wow. Kidding. It wasn't. Um, but if you guys would have worked with me, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you would have probably put, been put through the same experience. But mm -hmm. see that chair right there? I t tied her up in the chair with duct tape. Wow. And then I blindfolded her, and I tied her legs down, and her arms were back here. Okay. And her made arms her, too? Yeah. So she was sitting in the chair like that, like a total victim. <laughs> that was fun. We didn't get the vocal, but it was really fun. <laughs> right, but anyway. You have to have a lot of guitars, and with every guitar, there is a book written about it. So I bought the book that was written about that specific guitar. Is and, that real? And amp. Yeah, you didn't really? know that? I didn't know that. <laughs> now, if you'd like to come over here, and both of okay. you sit down, and we're going to start our therapy session. So I'm going to sit right here, okay. and I'm just going to talk to you guys a little bit about, briefly, what you've been doing on the road, because I know that most musicians come back very traumatized. It was hard. It was trying. We were playing, what, four shows, five shows a week? Uh-huh, five shows a week. Which we've never done. Mm -hmm. um, so that There's was interesting. There's this thing, it's like a struggle. I don't know if you're familiar with that. <laughs> so give me a little, you know, heads up on what happened on tour. When you guys were feeling low, what brought you back up when you were just You know, it was done? like a really good text from a friend. Mm -hmm. It would really just like lift your spirits. Mm -hmm. Like, Or I'd see a horse on, you know, like a cow, like pasture. Mm -hmm. Cows excite Cam. Um, last question. Um, when your fans were showing up to the shows, um, <laughs> what about you, what communication did you give them? Like you were giving them something and they were giving something back to you. Right. Exactly how did you make that exchange and why? <laughs> <laughs> you know the whole therapy thing that you're trying to move into? <laughs> I feel like you might be better at the music. Okay, let's okay. move on. I like to call this the makeout room. You can sit in here and be kind of dark and seedy and... You know, I've done some stuff in here. Really? I'll admit. And you saw the kitchen, right? It's a little messy. Yeah, everyone eats. Uh, Everybody eats here in the kitchen. This is the reception area. People like, come in and get nervous. People come in here and, sit and, and, get they, really and they're supposed to sit down and wait D until but I come happen? in. Does that happen? So it, it depends. What the hell what? is this? I'm so in stiff. I could just get a little. Oh hey, come on in oh, here. Great. Maybe you need a hot tub or something. And a gym. I'm gonna do my vocal in about ten minutes, and they'll be right there. Oh. 